Leroy's Pokemon Black and White 2 Walkthrough, Part 19. Hey guys, what is going on? We're here in Nimbasa City where the weather is wonderful and the music is the best freaking music you will ever hear in your life. Seriously, listen to this, it's freaking epic. But anyways, today we're going to be heading into the carnival area, um, or the amusement park, whichever you prefer. And check this place out, we've got like a freaking giant Pikachu and giant Pichu. I don't even know what these things are, but it kind of reminds me of Poke Floats from Super Smash Bros. Melee. Um, anyways, my dazzling machine is going hard right now, but... Seriously, check out this dude just playing the guitar and this lady staring at him. Like, seriously, this guy is a G right now, just playing all sorts of awesome music to get in the ladies. Um, get in the ladies' pants, I should say. But anyways, right in this trash can here, we got a revive. I don't know who threw away a revive, but, you know, I'm gonna take that all day, every day. And here's a Scraggy just chilling, like, can I catch this thing? Can I try to, like, weaken it down by running into it or something? I don't know, but anyways, um... Quick little side quest here if you want to partake in it. You can find this dropped item on the ground, and it's actually a cross transceiver. So, yes, yeah, someone dropped like a super valuable rare item. I don't know how it's been sitting here this entire time. Someone could have easily sold that at a pawn shop for like a lot of money. Um, but you're going to get introduced to this person who, you know, just happens to call the cross transceiver right when you pick it up. Kind of funny, but this is an entire side quest. Basically, um, since I'm the male character, I'm going to be talking to Yancey. And she's gonna keep in touch with me. Um, basically, there's gonna be some random cities and routes that she will um, communicate with me through the cross transceiver when I enter them. And if you have 10 different conversations with them, um, you can actually come back here to the amusement park and make some awesome trades and get some really rare Pokemon. So by doing that little side quest and going into all the right random routes and cities, you can eventually um, trade for some awesome Pokemon. And right here, what I'm actually gonna focus on is the old gym. This actually, um, yeah, this is Elisa's gym in black and white, but in black and white too, it is just a random area that you have to go into in order to actually fight the real gym leader. And I don't know why I got in this car, this doesn't bring me the right way. Um, yeah, that was kind of stupid. Um, but yeah, this is the exact same place that you went, that you came to during black and white to fight the gym, but now they've removed the gym to an entirely new spot. Um... So you can just come in here, fight some trainers, and by the end of it, you'll have the actual gym unlocked. So let's get out here and see if this guy wants to battle me. Oh yeah, I forgot, this dude just... I think there's a couple of random people in here that don't even battle you. Um, but anyways, press that switch right there, and... Oh, I thought that thing was gonna fly off before I could get on it. Anyways, right over here, let's get off, and... You know what, you look like you're a trainer, you're running around in circles. And... No, you're not- okay, yeah, I think actually all the trainers, um, pop out of the carts right at you. So there should be one right here, if memory serves me well. Um, but yeah, pretty much if you try to go into the actual gym, you won't be able to do it. You have to come in here first and fight some trainers and whatnot. And here's the first trainer. It's about freaking time. Um, but yeah, they still use electric types, just like Elisa would, so... I have my pincer up front, yeah, my newly caught pincer, in case you missed the last episode. And we're gonna be taking on Rich Boy Rollin. And yeah, he just got one Blitzel. And I taught my Pinsir Dig so I can pretty much dominate all the electric types. And I would highly recommend teaching one of your Pokemon Dig because a lot of Pokemon can get it. And um, you probably picked that TM up in Route 4, the giant desert area right before Nimbasa. So if you forgot to get the TM or you don't find it in your bag, it's definitely not too late to go back down south and search for it. Um, but yeah, that Blitzel went down super easily. And my Moxie Boost, which is kind of irrelevant since the game's over. Roll, 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 roll on, roller coaster. The whole time I was just thinking like a roll tide. For all you Alabama fans out there, national champions. Um, anyways, now I gotta wait for this freaking thing again, because I had to waste my time battling this dude. But yeah, let's hop back in here, fly back around. So yeah, the roller coasters are pretty awesome. We got an epic drop right here. Bam, it's just like Disney World Space Mountain or something. Anyways, let's step on this platform, and that's going to open up this little path over here. And now we wait for the roller coaster to come along. Ah, oh, here we go. And it's another trainer! Oh my, oh my. Alright, so time for another battle. Ooh, and she was toughened up by the gym leader herself, so you know she must be extra strong. I feel like so many people say that, they're like, you know, I trained with the gym leader, I got toughened up by the gym leader. And they usually end up being like the easiest trainers to defeat. Um, but yeah, she's got a Flaffy on her team. Actually a pretty popular Pokemon in this game. I've noticed like everyone loves catching Mareep. Um, but yeah, we'll knock this thing out pretty easy with a dig. 
And that should be a one-hit KO, no doubt in my mind. Bam! Easy! Didn't even need a critical hit, that thing is done. And there's my Moxie boost again. I seriously wish those were permanent, like I just permanently raised my attack every time I killed a Pokemon. Then maybe I would actually go fight wild Pokemon and just get my attack to a ridiculously high uh, number. It'd be like 500 base attack and I'm like level freaking 30 just fighting a bunch of Pokemon on Route 2. Anyways, loop de loop holy crap that was epic and you might be thinking, oh it's time for the gym fight, that was pretty quick, but this actually isn't the gym leader. Kinda looks like her, but apparently we just missed her. Um, but she's gonna give you a Paralyze Seal, which I really could've used in the last episode when my pincer kept getting paralyzed, but... You know, maybe it'll come handy in the gym. And actually, I'll probably go buy more Paralyze Seals before I go to the gym. Actually, you know what? I have Castelli accounts, it's not even necessary. Anyways, I'm just thinking out loud, um... Let's get, let's get out of here. And yeah, I'm so disappointed that that dude didn't give me fresh water. Like, the one time you see him and don't get fresh water. Um, but yeah, now you can actually go and fight the gym, which is over here in the amusement park. But before I do that, I'm going to talk to this person in front of the Ferris wheel. Because you can actually have a battle with her. And the trainer is going to vary depending on the season and your gender. So, there's actually eight different potential trainer battles. Um, four for each season for male and female characters. And it looks like we have a Swab Loon to fight. Um, so yeah, this actually might be... You know what, I do have Rock Tomb, so that'll make it a little bit easier. But I believe a lot of the trainers in front of the Ferris wheel have names based on the season you actually fight them in. I think more so with the Japanese names, but um, even some of the English names have like matching season names. I think someone in the winter is named like December, or if you're a girl they're named January, so yeah, it's kind of obvious sometimes more so than others. And this Razor Leaf should do like a whomping 5 hit points. Oh, it did 6 hit points! Wow, you did so much more than I thought. Um, anyways, let's- Oh, you jerk! Protect! Wow. Alright, one more brick break and you'll be done. And, um, yeah, Pinsir is actually slowly gaining up levels, and before I even know it, he'll be at, I think, 28 is when it happens, um, I'll be learning X-Scissor, and that'll be pretty epic. Wow, amazing! She's just absolutely shocked that she lost that battle. Absolutely shocked that her Protect tactic didn't work! Um, but anyways, after you defeat the trainer, you can go and take a ride on the Ferris wheel. Um, I didn't even have to buy a ticket, I mean, this must be like a free service or something. But anyways, this is actually like... I don't know, in, the, in black and white you'd be on here with N, and the storyline would actually be progressing, but... Right now, I mean, look at this, she's like, it's so muggy, I shouldn't have worn my apron, like... Yeah, good small talk. Maybe that's not the first thing you should bring up on a real, or on a Ferris wheel. And she's like, look at this! Sweat is making my clothes stick to me. Like, seriously, why are you telling me this gross stuff? Like, why are you telling me how badly you're sweating? He's like, yeesh, I'm completely drenched in sweat. Like, what the heck? Why am I on this Ferris wheel with you? You probably smell terrible. Like, what, have you not showered in weeks or something? Like, why are you telling me this information? Like, you just met me, we go on a Ferris wheel, and all you talk about is how sweaty you are. Um, but anyways, I'm glad I'm done talking to you. Probably, um, not gonna be my friend because you're freaking gross. And this is actually the gym right here, so you can go ahead and take on the Shining Beauty Alicia if you want, but um, I'm gonna go grab this item over here really quick, and it is another Paralyzed Seal! And we have another, like, giant uh, Pokemon thing over here, and we actually have the smaller version of Adino right here, so that's kinda cool. But anyways, thanks for watching this episode, guys. I know it was pretty short, but I um, took care of all the stuff I wanted to, and next time we will be heading inside the gym to hopefully get our next gym badge, so... Um, that next episode is going to be tomorrow, so stay tuned for that, and I will see you guys all next time. And if you're sweating as bad as that girl in the Ferris wheel, go take a freaking shower or something.